Thanks for tuning in for another Deer 30. Aaron and I are sitting here in western North Dakota. We've been out here for, I think, five days now. The season opened on Friday at noon, and today is uh, Tuesday. So uh, as you can see, we had a little luck this morning. I'll let uh, Aaron kind of talk about his first ever mule deer hunt. First time ever being in mule deer you know, country, was. really. Yeah, so we start from the beginning. We rolled in last Thursday. Um, hunting didn't open till noon on Friday, so we started glassing Friday morning and glassed up a good buck. Um, and then we noticed by Friday afternoon that we were gonna run into some good pressure around here. We're hunting all public land. And uh, so then our, our kind of our game plan kind of changed. It was kind of use our afternoons as diving into new spots and glassing and just kind of trying to spot a buck that we could make a game plan on the next morning. And, for the next couple evenings and mornings, we kind of struggled, really. Yeah, it was tough. We, uh, Mike and I, and Dylan's been out here. We've been hunting this exact area here the last two years. Mike's, uh, Mike's killed bucks out here. And I told Aaron, there's pretty much one core area where we've had a lot of luck and really no issues in the past at all running into people, other hunters. And uh, man, they were just stacked up in there. I think uh, I think the first day or second day we ran into six different people on the parcel that we were wanting to hunt, and uh, the deer just disappeared. Um, we didn't see a buck I think for a couple of days, so we were really just diving around, checking new ground, um, and really coming up empty on the new stuff we were checking out too. <laughs> and then uh, yesterday threw us a huge <laughs> curveball for sure. Yeah, yesterday we kind of seen it coming on the radar. Um, but last night, well, it would have been yesterday morning at about midnight, one o'clock a.m. It started raining, and we were we were in the teepee here at a different campsite. Actually, it started raining. It rained from midnight, one o'clock, all the way till three o'clock yesterday afternoon. So yesterday morning, we woke up and there was puddles in the tent. It actually, for how much it rained, it held up pretty good. But there was still, yeah, it was damp. Our sleeping bags and pillows and stuff were damp. And we had to leave the campsite we were staying at because we couldn't be there on Tuesday and Wednesday. So in the middle of the rainstorm, we decided let's pack her up and move sites. So we took everything down, it was soaking wet, put it on top of the Jeep, came over here, moved everything, set everything up, opened the windows up, let everything dry out. We ran to town, to the tub, <laughs> yeah, found a laundry mat in town, dried all of our shit out. I think we were in town for probably three hours. Just got all of our stuff dried and uh, got a good uh, meal in us and really came back with high spirits because we knew the rain was out, cooler temperatures were in, and it's Tuesday and we were hoping and banking on everybody going back to work, all the hunting pressure disappearing. And uh, I'll be damned if, if we didn't get on them this morning. And uh, it was just it was just too good not to not to make it happen. Couldn't couldn't pass it up. We we were just kind of slowly working in, trying to get up on some high rises. We had seen a couple bucks work out of the draws last night, um, and we didn't really have an idea which draw they were coming out of. So we were just gonna pop from high spot to high spot and glass and see what we'd come up with. So we sat at one spot for a little while thought ah, we should maybe try and get up on the next one and as we crested the next hill I just happened to catch a rack sitting in the in the brush there so we backed up and kind of sat there and thought well, what the heck we could keep going or we could make a move yep so we we ended up dropping I got a range on them the first time we ranged them was 87 yards so we dropped back and we lost some gear and took our binocs and stuff off slipped up over the top the wind was perfect right in our face and when we crested again we seen another buck which actually happened to be him and he was bedded and he was actually sleeping yeah he had his he head was, down there for a little bit i don't know if i got up. that on on camera but he was he was head down sleeping and the other buck that we initially seen was about 10 yards past him and uh it just worked out like JP at the beginning of it, he's like, I don't know if I want to shoot that deer. <laughs> and then I think he started having flashbacks of all the shit we've been through. Yeah. And uh, I said, yeah, let's sneak in close, and if it's meant to be, it'll be. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, shit. it's first time ever being out west. I haven't even filmed out west, and I'm not going to be picky. We're five days in, and yep. 
it, it just like like he said if it, if it worked out we were ready to rock and roll and we had just enough wind we got inside you know, about 40 yards and there was some brush just in front of us and right in between us and the other deer and I seen the one that was probably 10 yards farther I just happened to see him get up so I think he knew something was going on the other one had no idea we were even there so I stood up and drew and he stood up behind me and we took a couple steps left and this guy stood up and looked right at me and it was history after that. He only went 40 yards, center punched him and yep. that was right, it. Right through the chest, he stood up and actually took a couple steps out of curiosity towards us. JP just drove it right through his chest. Yep. He made it 30 or 40 yards and he was done. Done though, so. Couldn't be, couldn't be happier, it was a hell of a week out here. It seems like every time we get in a week long stretch of hunting, we always have some ups and downs, but that's what makes it that much more rewarding when it all turns out this way. So we are gonna pack our site up here. It's about noon right now and we are headed east. We're gonna head to Whitetail Camp. Um, Randall and Goulash are still out there grinding. Um, they're gonna be out there till Friday and we're probably gonna stay till Thursday unless the weather really looks good. We might stay and hunt Thursday night. But we're gonna try and get Brennan on a good whitetail and, and then he's off to Colorado. So uh, as always, um, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. Um, can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Uh, hit the thumbs up button, turn on the notifications. We're gonna continue to drop these uh, semi-live deer 30s throughout the hunting season, throughout the fall. Um, if you haven't watched season seven, we've been dropping that here on YouTube. Uh, we will be dropping another new episode uh, this week. Every Wednesday we put a new one out. And uh, we got 12 episodes total from season seven. We're getting to episode six, I believe, this week. So uh, turn those notifications on, and uh, we'll catch you here next time on the next Year 30. Thanks for watching.